Hi, I'm, I'm standing inside of my tractor supply company producer pride coop and uh, I did everything right on this thing. So I'll sh real quick share the most important points. The important points is there's four packs of these clamps and there's a little pack and it, it's for the roof. And the reason it's for the roof is these are small radius beams tubes here. So the, the look at these clamps. Can you see? Hopefully you can. Some of the radiuses end up being big radiuses. See that? And some end up being little radiuses. So the pack of little clamps is for the roof. It's all little radiuses. The pack for the clamp to the sides is a big radius and a little radius. And the clamp for the sides is all big radius. So don't mix up the clamps, that's the most important thing. Don't tighten everything up until the roof's in place because the roof will make it square for you. But don't leave it so the roof so loose that the roof comes down and hits you in the face. So, uh, and I didn't have any of those problems because I tightened everything just enough where I could, I could push the clamps and make the sidewalls adjust just a little bit, but the wind couldn't do so, but I could do so. So ultimately when I threw the roof up, then I pushed and I lined it all up and then I made sure I got the right clamps in the right place and it just tightened up. It was super easy. But if you make any of those mistakes, if you mix up your clamps, if you leave it so loose that the roof can fall down and hit you, it will. And then everything will get all crooked. So anyway, without further ado, the rest of this thing is just me doing chickens during the day and it was pretty hot. But I wanted to start the video off right away with how to win this construction. My dad always said, if you look at parts, they'll tell you how they go together. And looky there, if you look at those, they tell you, I, I want a big pipe, I want a little pipe, right? So if you look at parts before you put it together, they'll tell you how to put it together. And anyway, I'm standing in the coop, the chickens love it, I love it, blah, you know, it's just a great chicken run for the money and uh but don't mix up these brackets or you'll be crying i'm helping you talk but if i need to hand you stuff all right so the first thing we need to do is tear down everything that i did um yeah uh like the tools uh let's tear this all down okay and then uh you can carry like the water thing just stick them off to the side they're all coming back i'm going to get the fork truck for the doors and move the doors and uh, you can roll up that, that uh, you know, you can roll up that vinyl, just whatever, wherever you want to put that stuff. You think I should just speed walk us? Yes. All right. So there we are, uh, I got rid of the old doors I was using as a temporary coop. I just got these chickens. I got them because this week, and I know I've mentioned this before, so if it shows up twice in a video, forgive me. But I've touched or uh, encountered uh, four to five scorpions and three black widows. And two black widows I physically touched. And so I'm tired of the insect load that's near the house. I'm not into poisons. It's hard to get me to poison. Diatomaceous earth is it, uh, but I don't want to keep applying that either. So the chickens are the right solution for me. And uh, anyway, I got rid of all of the old stuff, 
the uh, chicken coop will go right over here underneath the trees and shade um, in addition I'll capture the rainwater for from the roof so uh, side door side panels roof panels end caps so uh, and then there's a box of hardware there so let me this is an old fire ant mound uh, apparently it's there's nothing there so I'm going to um, scrape that out I'm going to uh, level all this ground with my tractor and uh, then I'll start putting it together so. and the chickens are very curious so I'm going to go ahead and put you back on stop motion, probably on the other side of that tree, so I know you'll be safe. All right, so now I've got it uh, level in there. I've got that old fire ant mound out of there and it is dead, there's nothing left in it. But uh, when I, uh, I'll put the cage together and then when I figure out where I'm going to position it, I will roll out some uh, around the entire perimeter, halfway uh, chicken wire that I'll bury. Because I found the biggest predator, me, uh, that I've discovered with chickens is neighbor dogs. And sometimes it's not even dogs in your neighborhood. I mean, seems to me dogs will run three, four miles to come and kill your chickens. And um, they'll climb over, they'll dig under. So if I put a, a chicken fence around the perimeter of the fence and bury it, then when they dig, they'll hit that. Not only will they have to get through all that, and it'll poke their fingers, of course, but then they, if they're coming back up the other side, they'll also be hitting it there. So the uh, this is too big here to keep out snakes, but it's just right for uh, raccoons and dogs and maybe cats. Um, you know, there's lots of predators that can slip through that. So my, my uh, idea for having safety for the chickens is, uh, you know, the producer pride uh, outside barrier, <laughs> which will keep out the big things with a roof, which will keep out, you know, raccoons, possums. Uh, and inside, the roost will have an electric door that'll come down and close at night, and it's a soft close, so then I know it doesn't kill my chickens. Um, but anyway, so they're automatically getting closed even if I'm out of town, locked in at night. Eventually, I'll put a little ring camera or something in there, you know, a little camera so I can watch and make sure they're okay. Um, and that will be, uh, that box will be even insect proof. So I don't want mosquitoes getting in. I don't want snakes getting in. So they'll, they'll have two layers of security, the outer perimeter and then the inner roost. And I'm debating whether or not I'll end up chasing the outer perimeter with real fine gauge, uh, something. Chicken snakes are the real deal. And uh, there's a picture of me, and I know I won't be able to find it, of me pulling a chicken snake out of a coop. And the chicken snake is as big around as a pop bottle. And you can't even see the end of the chicken coop, uh, chicken snake. And I know I'm leaning 10 foot out. And um, with that much strength in a snake muscle, they can push. You'll be surprised what they can push out of the, I mean, they can remove staples, you know, and get in. 
So, um, and even if the whole snake can't fit in there and get your chicken, they're still driven to kill your chicken. So they'll get as much as their body that will fit and they'll wrap around the chicken and then they crush it and they crush it and they crush it and they wring it out. So it's a long skinny chicken and then they swallow it. It's terrible. That's terrible. Anyway, that's Texas. But nevertheless, the first thing is level ground for me. Uh, and then I'll put the uh, chicken wire down around the perimeter and, and then I'll... Um, anchor the uh, safety cage in, then build the roost. Uh, but tonight they still might have a temporary roost, we'll see. So I'm back out here uh, this evening while the sun went down. It is going down, I've got a couple hours. I gotta get this up before nightfall because the chickens will go back in a box and they won't like that. So I can't find any of my, uh, uh, I don't know why I can't find tools, but um, this is, I'm gonna use the most impractical. I just got this little ax in, it's a carving ax, but I need to clear the cedar out around me. Uh, so I'm gonna use the most impractical tool in the world. My own organization skills seem to be causing me problems. Uh, anyway, well, this is not, uh, like I said, it's not an educational thing. This is a infotainment. It's actually my personal journals on why things take me so long. And uh, today, Leah and I actually spent the morning while I was cool cleaning out my Connex, my storage Connex, because of these kind of problems. I've got all kinds of supplies in there that are really cool that I can't get to because, you know, uh, it's a mess. Anyway, the same thing needs to be done with all of my wood tools. But boy, I'm giving this little axe a workout, and it is a tough little thing. The chickens are really all hanging around me. They are domesticated. They really like people. I am happy about that. Back to making this thing. Producer's Pride 8x8 eight eight Universal Poultry Barn, it says. So side panel, so that's, um, you know, it tells you right off. You don't wanna overlap the pipes the wrong way because then the shape will be wrong. The roof won't fit, obviously. So it wants the side panels not in front of uh, the roof panels, but uh, perpendicular with them. Pretty good labeling. It's got the clamps all labeled for you. Numbered the bags uh, have uh, the appropriate labels on them, so not half bad. So 30 through 32 clamps, 32 25, 25 25, a bunch of bolts, and then these maybe. Uh, I don't know, they're to snap two pieces together, so maybe down the uh, center, the uh, side pieces, we'll see. I saw one of mine had, had a little bend in it. All right. It's an 11 and a 13, which says a 10 by 50 bolt and a 10 by M10 nut, so. All right, 10 by 50, so it will be important to keep these all in the right <laughs> All right, bags. Yeah. Well, 
I'm going to start where I want the door. I want the door to be able to open. I don't know, in or out. Let's find out which one it does. Depends on which one I pull. It does both. So I might move the cage so that I can, can uh, open the view. But I'll start with it leaned against here. That's nice. Put another side panel in. And then I'll do the roof over here. So uh, let me talk a little bit. So there's a uh, uh, the roof peak here, this piece. Notice that there's one that has a pop-up panel you can unscrew. And that's if you want an underrun with storage in one of their coops. And I might. So, uh, and that's might be where I want that coop. So eventually I might cut that little tree out of there and build the coop box that would rest on top of that branch. And maybe use that branch for them to come up at night and into the roosting box, maybe. So we'll, we'll see. But that, that's where I'm, how I'm going to do it. So uh, I think I'll put you all on stop motion and I'll go and uh, just start putting clamps together. Well, I don't know if you saw that in the stop motion, but the chickens wanted to join me in the, the pen while I was making it. So apparently uh, domesticated chickens know where it's safe. Anyway, they did end up joining me in the last panel. I opened the door and they came right in. So now they don't have a roof. There's a lot of things I don't have. I don't have the roof, but just let me say this uh, stop motion. That was an actual structured half hour if you're everything's laid out for you and you're ready to go uh, it is a one-man job in my opinion as long as you have something to hold up the panel so a two-man job if somebody has to sit there and hold the panel I, another person puts this around but I use the tree to do most of that now I'm gonna do the roofs next so I don't know if the roofs are really a two-man job if I'll end up needing to get uh, Leah out here or something like that um, they're self-leveling and self-centering is what I should say, the clamps. So as long as you're not way out and they're twisted, I had one that was twisted, I had to rearrange it. It, it will auto adjust the width of the panels as well as the center. Went together really well. Uh, they're a little more than, you know, tight, uh, but there's still, I could still move it around just a little bit. Once I put it where I finally want it, I'll tighten it down. As I suspected, the bottom is not adequate, especially out here in the rural nowhere. Uh, a heavy hog would get underneath there and lift that up. Dog would dig underneath it. So what I'm going to do is I've got roll chicken wire out under it and, um, put it on chicken wire and then bury that so that uh, 
whatever gets on the chicken wire and wants to dig under it will be um, on that. And then I'll, I'll stake it down somehow or another. Now I have to put on a roof and I have that tarp that I'm going to use to catch rainwater so I can get their water system going. But um, <laughs> I, the, chickens, the chickens are a good witness to uh, the success of this product. They want it in if you look in the stop motion. They circled me. They, as soon as I opened the door, they came right in. Uh, very inviting. The latches worked. Everything was centered. I think if I paint it every couple of years, I probably get seven to ten years out of it, maybe. Um, could I have built it better with uh, treated two by fours and whatnot? No, I don't think so. Uh, building your own fence and coop is a very expensive, very heavy, very labor intensive job. This is way easier, uh, better, and um, uh, I, I don't think I'll ever build a wooden coop again. Uh, it was uh, what five five hundred bucks with the roof. Uh, you can't. If I would have bought two by fours and done, all, I would have been up at five hundred dollars plus cutting sawing, tr cutting all the uh, the wire to fit. Uh, you know. Now this thing won't keep out chicken snakes. I know that. So I'll end up either I'll cover it on the outside. So I'll still end up maybe doing that uh, with fine mesh wire. That's my experience, you do you in your neighborhood. Uh, but boy, I could not be more pleased. So big winner, uh, in my opinion, from Tractor Supply. I have yet to put the roof on. I will get it on before the end of the night. Um, it's pretty hot out here, so I'm feeling a little uh, heat fatigue. So I'm gonna go take another break, but half hour and a really hot day, it's 90, 94 again. Uh, the sun's out. Leah's all worn out, she painted a door, and she says, I'm done. <laughs> So and I'm going to join her in the AC for a little bit and decompress from this. All right, uh, if I don't come back to finish up the video with the roof, uh, uh, just like, subscribe, follow me along. Uh, but I might, I might prepend it and cut this part out. Who knows? We'll find out. Well, I fed everybody. The chickens are all in there. I already feel better as a chicken owner. So they've given me three eggs, and this is uh, not even, this is their third day. So I got, I've got it an egg a day, which is pretty good for chickens that have been moved under stress. They are very good chickens. Uh, I've decided to do the roof. <clears throat> I was going to take a break from the heat, but listen, these are ready to snap in. I just snap these in. I put brackets on that. I throw it up and tighten it down. That, that seems like I can do that, then put on my uh, shade canopy and uh, tomorrow fix things up uh, where they're better. But I will rest better knowing that the only thing that could get these chickens would be a chicken snake. And um, I don't know what I'm going to do about snakes. Uh, we'll, we'll see. But, uh, and I do see them out here, uh, even copperheads. So. Uh, these are pretty big chickens, but uh, I've seen big chicken snakes. So. Anyway, let me put these on. Hey, they've got the, uh, the roofs have the clamps welded on for me. So that's why I'm willing to do this. It seems like it's a no brainer. But I am pretty, uh, pretty hot. <laughs> It, well, this wasn't hard work. It's, it's the day. I think, you know, the two-man lift and whatnot, the recommendations, I, I, I think they're just being overly cautious. Each one of these panels is not very heavy. Uh, 10, 15 pounds, maybe. Uh, I'm a big dude, so your mileage might vary, uh, but I did not see a reason to pay two men to put this together. and. Now I'm, I'm good at engineering, so other than reading the first page and knowing what the what clamp goes where and uh, how the weirdness fit, you know, I don't need a lot of help. But again, your mileage might vary. So. But nevertheless, this is definitely a pretty easy job. All right, all the, everything was put on. Let's see, this roof is heavy. I could see where somebody might be a two-man job on the roof. And my chickens are in there, so I definitely don't want to drop the roof panel on the chickens. So I 
See, this is a two-man part, but no, it's, it's self-leveling. It seems to be loading up okay. There you had it, you know, I'll stick this together, do the other side, put the clamps on according to the bolts, they're a different length bolt. Right now everything's just a little tight, but I'll make sure it's all square. If I was a perfectionist, I would, uh, you know, I'd get out a T-square and uh, make sure everything was 90s. I'm not. <laughs> you know, this is just a little chicken coop underneath a, a mesquite tree. Their job is to be let out every day and... Uh, clean up after the horses so I don't end up with pest problems. And they eat some scorpions and black widows, so. All right, well, this is close enough then. You saw how easy that went up. Uh, no big deal. I just, they took these little uh, spring-loaded uh, pipes, snapped them in each end. It already had the bracket welded. Threw it up there, and then I'll put the counterpart in there and then go around with uh, ratchet and just tighten everything up. I didn't even need a my drill. I uh, I just used my hand ratchet and I found it. The they didn't they weren't crazy in the bolts. It just all put together. I, I would give Tractor Supply a 10 out of 10 on this and uh, would recommend. I would buy another one in a heartbeat if I needed a uh, quick way to put a chicken thing. Now I'm not going to pay $900 for a uh, wooden chicken coop of marginal material. I will build for. for $300, I will build one out of uh, treated lumber, uh, ground contact treated lumber, and hardy plank. And uh, I'll put in the windows that I want that I already have here, yada, 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 you know. So, but uh, definitely the metal, uh, let's see, it said uh, producer's pride, chicken run. And uh, I would recommend it, 10 out of 10. That's how the chickens watch me putting together their coop. They, they really did like this coop. They came right in. This chicken run, I should call it. I came right in and joined me. I didn't have to do anything. Watching me put it together. They were pretty interested in watching me put it together. I'm almost to the final stage of tightening everything up, but I've got a few more of these brackets to put in place. And just the walls out so the brackets fit just right. All of that goes.